How are we feeling? <laughs> Great. <It's> gold. <laughs> What's this stuff? Wrinkle stuff? So? Mm -hmm. You're good, Jer. Wait till we get this outfit on you. You're going to be looking like you're fucking 80. Yeah. Tilt down. Dave Portnoy is back. And when that's the case, Jerry has to find a different way onto the show. So today, we're getting him dressed as Stort Finer's father. I don't know if I look terrible. You're not terrible. Yeah. You have a good head shape. What's up? We were just talking. Do you think this one's going to be a flop like last time? Or do you think this one's going to... Dude, you look like Darth Vader. <laughs> I said he looked like Kratos. I mean, it's just, Jerry looks so much like he's such a distinguishable, like, he just looks like Jerry. <laughs> if you follow Stu, you've definitely seen his dad in the wheelchair, so we've recreated the outfit. It's on it, yeah. I mean, it's it's good. It's just so Jerry. It's a little bit. You should like. A little bit. It's, well, it's he doesn't right. look like he's eating. The outfit, the outfit is like on point. Perfect. That's my father wears that exact outfit, like the glasses and everything. Tiny. <laughs> <laughs> I would have said hello if, if I was I'm not in the middle of the I, did, I did not know. I did not know. The last person in the world I would want to disrupt is you. So I didn't know. Alright, everyone ready? Let's do it. Three, two, one. Welcome to the Barstool Sports Advisor. America's premier sports information program with Dave El Prez Portnoy. Dan. Cat Caps. And the source, Stu Finer. Like, like and subscribe. subscribe! Like and subscribe! Barstool Sports Advisors, we're back. Back! Week 15. Wow! We got Ashley, we got Tommy, we got Stu, and then we got the big boss man. King of all men. Dave is here. Think of it's all media. Great to have him back. Dave, I believe, I got to look through this. I believe you and I are the only two people with an above 500 record on what? this show. Where am I at? You're it's, 11 and 10. It's not believable. All right. It's a fact. You're 11 and yeah, 10. I, I'm doing fact. good in college, doing good in pros. I'm seeing the board clearly. It is a fact. How are you feeling overall about, you know, it's week 15. We're getting down to it. You maybe give us some Super Bowl teams. Five Super Bowl teams. Five Super Bowl teams. All right, 49ers. Chiefs, Cowboys, Eagles. Is there anybody else in that AFC? What? Ravens. 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 But no, no, I'm striking the Ravens. Oh. I, I'm not believing the Ravens. I would throw Buffalo. Buffalo. Mm. The future on the Bills, 35-1. Yeah. to 1. I need him to get into the dance. Am I forgetting anybody in the NFC? Uh, you said Eagles, Cowboys? Yep. Yeah, that's it. Niners. Niners, Niners yeah. Eagles, yeah, Cowboys. Adam. Yeah. Yeah, that feels good. Uh, okay. Yeah. Well, it's week anything? 15. No, you're not missing it. I mean, Lions you could throw in there. No, Lions are frauds. Packers? I have a future on them, frauds. Okay, Rams? Future on them, frauds. Bengals? Future on them, frauds. Patriots? Future on them, frauds. <laughs> <laughs> Those are all my Super Bowl teams. <laughs> They're combined one in 30 since I, uh, I place a bet to win the Super Bowl. Lose. Dead. Kills lose. Them. Lose. But it's great to have Dave back. Jerry gone. See ya. Uh, we should also mention we have. So maybe we put a graphic. This is a pick show. This is a pick. Like uh, for this one. This, this will be a pick show, not a circus. Oh, because no Jerry. No Jerry. Oh, okay. I do picks. He does shticks. He does sir. He does shtick. He does shtick. I do picks. He does shticks. He does shticks. He's good at shtick stuff. Yeah, he's a great shtick guy. Yeah, exactly. one of the best. He does picks. One of the too. best. I just want to. I want that on record. His record's not great, but he does picks. He gives them. Well, yeah. he gives picks. What is he? Look, if the Steelers weren't in the toilet, 43, he'd be up. 48. 
It's not bad. That bet he and I made, quarterback versus quarterback, mano e mano, Mac Jones versus Kenny Pickett. Two of the worst quarterbacks ever played the game, really. Yeah. What are the yeah. odds? Not as uh, horrible. Race to yeah. the bottom. If you showed one of the quarterback's stats, the other guy would put his net worth on it that you'd win. I'm losing with Mac, and Kenny Pickett's been horrible. Yeah. So. But what I was going to say is we do have uh, Dunce Boy over here. So he's sitting there for the whole show. Hi, Duncey. So at this point, everyone knows what happened, but Mincy spoiled uh, the penultimate episode of Surviving Barstool. Final three people, I believe. In fact, it is. I know. It's Jerry, Stephen Shea, and Will Compton. I haven't been that mad in, in a long Quite time. Quite some time. So his punishment has just been to stare at a wall wherever I go the entire time. I do like Nancy. He's just so incredibly stupid, and it is on Dan, it's on Hank, yep. and it's on everyone here. I can't believe Wake Up Nancy came back without a one-minute delay dump button. Like I got some bad news, too, about uh, the dump button. I guess YouTube released a feature two weeks ago that's literally a dump button. Unbelievable. That, like, is so easy to set up. Unbelievable. Yeah, that's bad. That makes it worse. Well, you have a big brain, as you said. He what has a like? small brain. And he has no He's brain. He's an idiot. He has a moron. Goldfish. He's an imbecile. Swimming around up there, bumping into walls, and occasionally throwing out math stats. It's, su- it's actually surprising that he's alive this many years. He, How do you make it this many years? And then when he fucked up, you know what he did, Stu? He threw on his backpack and just ran. sprinted away like far as Gump. It's like where he's just r- running down the streets of Chicago to get away. So, keep so running. Stefan had to take the brunt Stephon. of my... Stefan! <laughs> well, Stephon. you're never going to see this because it was part of the episode that got canned because of his incompetence and just being, you know, careless. But he woke up at 5 o'clock. You, by the way, you were right next to him when he fucked up. Yeah. I was, I was, no, 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 no. I wasn't there at the time. I don't no, know. yeah, you were. There were two. Oh, was I saw I? two Johns. clips. Oh, okay. He kept, he, he, he kept doubling well, down. Like, let well, me screw what up happened again. was. Let me give it away Rutledge again. Went, Rutledge had a heart attack. He went like. Yeah. But it kept going. Yeah, so three left. Uh, Jerry, Shay, and Will Compton. What? No, 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 no. I don't know. Let me see who's left. Oh, okay. I didn't know. I didn't know who was left. I didn't know. <laughs> so I thought everything was That's fine. That's the dump I, You know, he didn't that, say, stop. Let's yeah. can it. Yeah, he kept well, it's it, it a live show with somebody who is humanly incapable of being live. Mm. So, he gets up at 5 in the morning. He runs five Crazy. miles after eating last night because he has a weigh-in there. He says, what should I, I, I weigh roughly um, 238 to 240. I make the over under 241, 248 and a half. He's a pig. 248 and a half, he's I mean, a pig. It's been an epic fail all, a pig. all the way around for him. But yes, Mincy is here. We also have uh, Stu's father's here. He brought him out to Chicago this week. See it. And Sandy's Love, in the back And too. Sandy's in the background as well. Love Howie Finer. Is that his name? Godfather. Howie. Right? Howie. Yeah, yeah. I, got no I, name. I was worried no, that he, was the, he had two brothers and sisters. They all got middle names. He didn't get a middle name. Oh. It's Howard Finer. I also Love had that. a little Stu experience. I'm in my office and I was on a call. Man, 10, 15 lawyers. He knocks. I, I do this. Like I'm talking to the computer. He just keeps coming till it's like, ah, like in your face. Just no social. Clues. No. Well, and you know, Dave. After this, I'm not, like, you're, we're gonna we're I, gonna have I, to take a million pictures with his dad. We're gonna have to. Take no, you were so intense crazy. into the computer. I thought you were watching you porn, but it wasn't. It was a real meeting. But he knocked. No, I, didn't. I, I, I knocked and then I opened the door. No, you knocked first and I'm like, hey, and then went back to whatever I was doing. Yes. And then you, then you like... Well, maybe later you we'll, took I'll one tell step. you why I had to go in the office and take a bullet. But, well, that's for another Okay, moment. okay. Let's say, yeah, let's pick show, like you said. Pick show. Pick Jerry's show. not here. Let's talk picks. Six. Let's get into the games. We have five games we're going to get to, as always. First is starting with Saturday night. Can I just ask Dave one thing? Right now, can the 49ers be beat? No, I mean... Yeah, Absolutely. So you actually think they could be beat? Yeah, I think they could be beat. How you beat them? I mean, here's, here's You've my... You've seen a lot of great teams. This is a great here, team. Here's my answer to that. We still have a lot of football to go. Don't forget, they didn't look like a great team about a month and a half ago. Yeah, when they that lost. was with injuries. That wasn't their team. Yeah, but they could get more injuries. There was injuries. McCaffrey well, didn't play. No, no, no McCaffrey played play. every game. Debo Birdie and Trent didn't Williams. Play. Trent yeah, Williams yeah. is the best player in the McCaffrey's NFL. McCaffrey's played every game. Trent Williams is the best player in the NFL. Very good player. You put him out there, and you just don't have to worry about half of your half of yeah, your the, offensive yeah, line. The be, uh, yeah. The, no, the best player is the defensive end on the Cowboys. Oh. Mika Parsons. Oh. So you go... Me, uh, Micah Parsons. Micah Parsons. Miles Garrett. Where's TJ Waco in there? No, I, I have. Listen, what I watched Parsons do to Lane Johnson. Yeah. Nobody's done that. So not him. even TJ Watt can't even hold their jock strap. TJ TJ Watt's always hurt. <laughs> That's true. 
What was that noise? <laughs> what was that noise? <laughs> 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 Howie Fider! Howie Fider! The reincarnation of Howard Fider! Before he got cancer, he lost 80 pounds. That's my father. What a moan. <laughs> Just the laugh. You first. So that's why you have to go into your office because he was sliding by oh you. Oh my god. You can distract him. <laughs> so that's 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 that one I'm not laugh. an idiot. I knew you were on a meeting, but I had no choice. I had to distract him. That that makes no sense, Stu. I was already distracted until you knocked on my door to get me to look over. <laughs> well, they, they wanted my body so that we could slide. The we slide the wheelchair. That one laugh was worth everything. You're like, what was that? <laughs> oh, I knew it was him. I knew that Sandra was him. Yeah. No, you knew the laugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah I knew yeah, yeah. I would, It's a TJ. But walk. better than G. Exit. Better than that was, Gina, that was, I can't. Yeah. It's, it's dark eight. over there. I can't see what's going uh, on over there. All right, back to a pig show. Jerry, how long does that stuff take to get on? Four and a half hours. <laughs> four and a half hours? Come behind us for a big Yeah, just come, come on for a sec. Four and a half hours? Say four and a half hours. Four and a half hours. He had the down. He had oh, that is so yeah. amazing. It was four and a half hours? Yeah. You didn't have to shave? Sintonice todos los martes Jerry After Dark a las 14,000 espectadores. Put this in Spanish, quick. 14,000 visitas. Put it in Spanish. Put it in Spanish, quick. All right. Great job, Jerry. <laughs> how long does it gonna take to get off? About two hours. <laughs> two hours to get off. It was worth it. What a moment. I'm wheeling up. That has to be the key moment. Besides, well, I, uh, I knew it was uh, him when I heard the voice on TJ uh, Watt. Yeah, he the, blew it. Like, could you see who he was? You didn't go. No, I thought that was your dad. Yeah. Oh my God, you yeah. fucking blew it. We did a lot better than that. Well, uh, yeah, yeah, you blew it. You could have shut up. Yeah. You no, thought it was no, like it was incredible. Well, what, was he never no, in the show? No, show? Just, just sit in the shadows? Oh, Stu, the point was that he was eventually going to show that it was him. Fair enough. What about, what about what was a little bit missed there when Stu said he distracted me in the office? He said I had to provide a distraction. But I, was, I wasn't, I was dead on my computer until you started knocking. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm not a good spy. I, mean, oh, like, like, I, I literally was in the zone, not looking at all over there until you started knocking. It's yeah, like, but I, I didn't know that. You we said didn't know you had to like, distract me. I was by nervous. Drawing my attention oh. to you. I got nervous. I got flummoxed. Oh man, that was great. All right, uh, let's, amazing. Uh, pick show. Let's get into some picks. Six or, and a half hours. Six and a half it. hours for. I mean, that was a great moment. That was amazing. That was a great moment. Fabulous. Uh, all right. The holic made the best ever. <laughs> yes. Well Bro done, Hank. Bro well, Hank. Good job. Shout out Paige, too. Page Shout out Hank. That. Shout out for your creativity. Shout out Paige. Shout out Paige. And Paige. Paige. Shout out Paige. All right. Paige. Paige is our office manager. Got it. She did everything. She was, she was incredible. Uh, the prosthetics and the whole kit and caboodle. Yeah. She was committed. Yeah. All right. Broncos at Lions. Saturday night. Saturday night. Saturday baby. night. Error on the sheet. Oh, no. What's the error? Sunday. It says Sunday. Oh, no. Vasoli's going to lose Carbone again. Did you know? I don't want to go on a side note, but I need a haircut. And I was going to get one here yesterday. Dante gives me a guy, and I'm ready. 7 p.m. yesterday, haircut's done. Fasoli's like, I got my haircut by him. It looked like his hair got attacked by a raccoon. <laughs> I literally canceled the haircut. Show your hair. No, it's, it was an old one. He oh, had, it's an old he, one. He had a video of it. Oh, he showed no. me the video. Like oh, yeah, well, yeah. He's not, of course he doesn't like I'm fade. not a fade guy. <laughs> It literally, I looked at him, I go, Dante, I'm out. And he's like, what, what? It's like, I saw a raccoon attack for Soli's head. No chance. <laughs> uh, all right, here we go. Sunday, oh, Saturday night, God. Broncos at Lions. Now, there's no weather because it's a dome, but I always have to start with Ashley. Uh, she's sponsored by Muck Boots. Don't let Muck <coughs> Nature's mood Excuse bless me. you. Mood swings catch you off guard when weather takes a turn for the worse. Trust Muck Boots to keep you snug and cozy while conquering the elements, rain, sleet, or snow. Muck boots have got you covered. Our 100% muck-proof design keeps your feet dry and comfortable no matter how wild and wet it gets outside. Upgrade your footwear game today and experience the difference that muck boots can make in your life. Don't wait until the weather gets worse. Be prepared for anything Mother Nature throws your way. Muck boots, stay dry, stay in the game. Right now, get 20% off with code MUCKUBARSTOOL. 
Uh, Ashley, you're wearing the muck boots right now. They look fabulous. That's what is the weather gonna be like in Detroit? Even though we're in a dome, still wanna know what the weather's gonna be. Okay, in Detroit, it is gonna be 45 degrees and cloudy. Ooh, that's okay, beautiful. that's not bad. Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah. We've been stealing days, it's been 40s. Tommy. Lions have been a great bounce back team. They've covered six straight, coming off a loss, 10 and two against the spread at home, coming off a loss. Ooh, okay. Wow. Dave, I'll start with you. I like that stat. Um, the Broncos, 6-7 after what? They gave up like 100 to the Dolphins. They've really turned around. Unbelievable coaching job. I'd actually think he's up for coach of the year down mm -hmm. there. Um, they're not pretty generally. Nope. This is a huge game for I, I think the Lions are kind of fraudulent, to be totally honest. They, the, the Thanksgiving game was eye-opening. They lose last week to the Bears. They haven't played well for four weeks. No, right. I think they get healthy this week versus the Broncos, but it's, it is a tough game. Tough game. Because tough. I could easily see the Lions winning and not covering, uh, which you hate to see. Mm, especially if you bet the Lions. And the, yeah, you, especially if you bet right. the Lions. The Broncos kind of like muck it up. They run the ball, they get, the they, clock goes. Before you know it, you're in some odd like 13-9 game with like six minutes to go. I'm going to take the Lions at home. They're, they've, uh, the Broncos get like, they, they get weird bounces, like, you know, fumbles, all this shit where it's like, well, how do they? is like good. Yeah, yeah no, it is. It's good. playing well. It's playing well. Yeah. Uh, Stu. You know, it's a tough game because the Lions really a suspect right now. I don't know how they've fallen apart. I mean, they easily could have lost to the Saints where they were up 21 nothing and had to hold on for dear life. Um, Broncos, on the other hand, play hard. They play tough. They're so well coached. Uh, Sean Payton has them rocking. Russell Wilson's playing very well. Like you said, a couple of fluke turnovers. Otherwise, Broncos are right in the playoffs. Um, I'm going to believe what Dave said, and I feel it in my balls, that Lions are probably going to win. Broncos are going to cover. I'm going to take the points with the Denver Broncos. I think that, you know, coming down the stretch, Russell Wilson, Sean Payton, you can't get a better combination. The, and everybody in the AFC right now is up for that last uh, wild card spot. The only Everyone. thing I'll say about the Broncos, and this is going off memory, they haven't had to play from behind, and I still don't think they can, like, yep. throw the ball from behind. And the Lions, if they can score a little bit, like the Broncos have just – Ball control, in control of the games that win in, they're in control of the game, most of the game. Lions jump out here, maybe they won't, like that comeback won't play. I'm sticking with the Lions, but I'm, it's a tough game. I'm going Lions as well. Pick show. I like, the, I like the bounce back Lions. I also think this is a Jameer Gibbs game. <clears throat> I'm going to throw that out there. Not a pick, but just, just a little tickler file. Hey, maybe Jameer Gibbs. Uh, I also think the Broncos, listen. The one thing that the Lions have been getting gashed up is right up the middle. Their linebackers have been injured. They've lost their, their nose tackle. Russell Wilson can't throw in the middle of the field. He's too short. He's too short. Can't throw in the middle of the field. He's too short, Stu. Okay. I, I just think that Jared Goff is playing such shit that he's I, that's over the, the bounce ball back. That will, the bounce back. That, back at know, home. If, if they, you know, if Broncos get two picks here, you know, that could be 14. They, and they, this is Dan Campbell said after the game, he's like, I'm going to have to be a lot more irritable. So uh, you don't want to – those are tough practices. He's a big boy. they got to win this game. I'm going to take the Lions as well with Dave. Next game, next game, my Chicago Bears, plus three and a half at the Cleveland Browns. The Bears, this is a gateway game. This is a gateway game, Dave. If they win this game – You're right. If they win this game, Dave, they, they have the Cardinals and Falcons at home. A gateway are, are, you ba are you back now on fields? It's a complicated situation. It isn't, it is, and it isn't. And, and here's why it isn't, because the Bears have been in conservatively 38 of these games since we've been doing this show, where they are gateway games. Yeah, and gateway And they games. always get crushed in the gateway game. Yeah. They start over. Yeah. Browns at home, double digits. Oh! Double digits. Browns got some defensive injuries. <clears throat> I'm going to go with the Bears plus three and a half. I the Bears defense has been playing great, great football. And when they roll the quarterback out, he's great too. And you were wrong last week. You were the Bears whispering. Yes, very yes, wrong. I got smacked. I told you. I almost took that as a wire to loss. wire. I got smacked. Yeah, I was never in that game. Lines really let. And me now down. that I'm saying this all out loud, I'm like, there's no way they're going to win. They, you know that it's last gateway week, game. Last week was the first time that Matt Eberflus and Justin Fields had won back-to-back -back games. Yeah, they, this, and they, they win three in a row? Whenever the Bears fans get their hopes up, and, and by the way, I use that term loosely, they're 5-8 team, 
But this is like a hope game. Yes. And they don't win hope games. This is a this is a keep the season alive somehow game. And on that, it's a keep like everything. Is everyone back on the field? Yeah. Is the future okay? You always lose these games. Uh, now Joe Flacco is playing quarterback for the Browns, correct? He's good. And he's playing well. Elite. He's getting time. Elite. Flacco. Browns. Flacco! Browns, cool Joe! Browns defense <laughs> is lights out. I don't see the Bears scoring at all here. I think this is a route. I agree with um, Dave. I think this is, a, this is a pummel. Okay, this I'm going to take pummel. the Bears. Uh, let's go with Tommy, the Wood stat. Tommy, you better give me a good Wood stat. Wood stats, uh, Tommy's Wood stats presented by Wood. Whether you know it or not, you probably stink. Meet Wood, the lineup of personal grooming products specially formulated to make you, your man, smell like a better man. The world's best smelling body, hair, face, and beard products made of all natural ingredients. It's time to level up from weird gels and weirder smells. Wood grooming is body, hair, face, and beard products that make you smell like you give a damn. Even if you don't, use code BARSTOOL for 25% off at getwood.com or head to your local Walmart today to shop Wood's hair and body assortments located in the natural aisle selection. Uh, section wood grooming. It's time to smell like a better man. Tommy, give me a good step. I do have one that I yes. feel like. The Browns struggle to get momentum going. Kevin Stefanski has covered just nine of his last 28 games coming off a win. They're yes. Off, uh, good wow. Job. Yes. yes. Wow. But I, I wish I heard that at the beginning. Well, How, the Bears have won what, two in a row? For the first time in yeah. two years. Covered yeah. four or five. With yeah, fields. so I, that they can't have, when's the last time they won three in a row? Like what, the if 20s? what if they never lose again? What if that just... I'd be happy for you. Thank you. Thank you. What if they never, literally never lost another game? I'd be happy for you. That'd be crazy. Uh, Chicago deserves it. Weather. I, it's... The fact that you've pointed it out that it's... You're making me nervous. It's a gateway game. It's, you just Every time it, I get... You described it like, perfect. I'm legitimately very excited for this game on Sunday. Correct. How does that go? Bad. Heartbreaking. Bad. Ashley. Yes. This guy's so camera name's Ryan? Cleveland. Yeah, that's Ryan. He loves it. He's smiling. Oh, he's, he's the like best. He's a hype man. That. Yeah. He's, he, he laughs at everything. Yeah. He's like, he's you, down with everything. Do you work for us or like the crew? What? Okay. We gotta, we, he's working towards full time. He's, like, he's also uh, Jerry after dark. He's like, he has to like rebound 2,000 shots that Jerry takes. He got it. He stands there. It's like you, late night at the Apollo. You're hooting and hollering. Over no, it's good. Him. I like it. He's a vibes guy. Yeah, I looked over. It's a vibes smile, guy. smile, laughing. We didn't even say nothing. Yeah, he's working a full time. We're going to get him full time. All right. All right. Uh, Ashley. Yes. In Cleveland, we're looking at 49 degrees with just a little bit of drizzle. Oh, that's beautiful. We got good weather everywhere. Okay. Let's go up. Stay in the NFC North. We're going to go Bucks Packers. Packers minus three and a half. It's a big game for both these teams. Dunce, is yeah. Dunce Boy's mortal lock. Oh, no. Yeah. What is his mortal lock? You want to talk about Dunce? Is he mic'd up? All right, I'll speak for well, that. That's never stopped him. <laughs> no. Um, he, wait, wait, Dunce Boy. <laughs> say your pick. Love Green Okay. Bounce back spot. Okay. I just said say your pick. I just said say your pick. They don't want to <laughs> he 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 was sitting in my office against the wall just talking out loud about this pick unsolicited. <laughs> Stay green days when we get that to Sunday. That's all I got. Where are you going? Oh, I'm sitting here all day. I was wearing the dumpster. No, no, no. You're sitting against the wall. Right? Okay. So turn it the other way. No, face, face the wall? You face the wall. Um, Green Bay, <laughs> he says, coming off obviously much tough Monday night loss. Buccaneers, I think he said two in a row. Big, they had a big win against Atlanta. I'm just regurgitating what he said. Loves the Packers. They don't lose here. Did it's he say? Play. Did he say the part that he's a diehard Saints fan and they need the Bucks to lose? No, he didn't. Okay, because that seems like a rough. I, I listen. I I I went pretty big on the Packers versus. Uh, Chicklets, yeah, Tommy Vito. Chicklets. Uh, I saw a good cover of the New York Post, living in the Vita Loco or whatever his name is. I, I love living in Devito Loco. Loco, yeah, yeah, it was like good. That. I, uh, his agent beat my high school football team, Battle of Undefeateds, '95. The kid wrote a book about it. Um, Sean, <laughs> Sean Stilato, Salem, Mass. Shout out, kid. Uh, but I thought that hype was going to eat them, and I thought the Packers were really, really good. So I lost big, but I'm taking Mincy here in the Packers. I'll, I'll go with them. Okay, <clears throat> Stewart. And by the way, DeVito, I'm scarred because I watched him at Syracuse. He's horrible. Yeah. That, that DeVito will come out at some point. Wait, Stu, before you do that, I want to hear the weather. For sure. It'll be a frigid temp of 37 degrees and 
kind of cloudy. That's not that frigid. Cold. That's not that cold. That's warm, not that warm cold. weekend. Warm weekend, Tommy. Baker Mayfield has been a great road dog. He's covered seven of eight in that spot. Packers have covered just four of their last 12 as a favorite. Damn. Mincy? Okay. okay. Still likes it. Though. Stewart. Um, I would normally be on the Packers here for the exact uh, analysis that Mincy gave, but since Mincy is really, uh, everything in his life has turned to shit. <laughs> He's wearing a dunce cap, which is pathetic. He almost blew, what we write? No, he didn't almost, he blew it. Oh, he blew it. What we write off of uh, the, the surviving bar, so we wrote like a million three? 1.3 mil. Right, yeah. million three. All which refunds, is and people probably want refunds. All the work, Rick everybody would, would tape across their mouths, and his jerk off almost blew a million three. And it's right. not only that, Stu, it's like, did you watch the last episode, Mincy, so you know what's happening? He's like, no, I didn't. So, well, like, you know oh, why? You yeah, he went out to dinner. Oh, he was dinner with you? Yes. But I, I thought that, you know, he could go home and watch it. He'd do his homework. I mean, it's pathetic. I mean, you can't blame. Mince, you can't go to dinner ever again, all right? You just, not only did you blow dunce and almost blew a million three for the company, you've been cut from dinner. Wow. Um, I got, I, I, my balls say Packers in this game, but I'm going to use the Bucks because I don't know how the Bucks win and cover almost every week, but they do. And Baker Mayfield's playing unbelievable. He has total confidence in everything he does. I'm on his bandwagon. I'm on the Bucks bandwagon. They're coached really well. Their defense is shut down in the fourth quarter. Um, you would absolutely say the Packers are going to come back on a bounce back spot after getting humiliated by the New York Giants. Not here. I like the Bucks. Mm. Tampa at Lambeau in December, though. It's the old, it's the old uh, put a jersey on game. Yeah. Remember that? Uh, Mike uh, Holmgren. No, not Mike Holmgren. Who is the one in the middle? He's going to drive me insane. That is going to drive me insane. No, not McCarthy. They had three mics in a row. Sherman. Mike Sherman. Mike Sherman uh, and Warren Sapp. And Warren Sapp was like, put a jersey on. He, he blindsided Chad Clifton on a blindside block. Remember that? You guys don't remember that? No, I don't. He was no. screaming him after the game. He was like, that was a bullshit play. And Warren Sapp just said, put a jersey on. Great clip. Put a jersey on. I love Warren Sapp. I don't remember. Not the best guy, I don't think. Well, he's a great football player. Yeah, no, great, great football, football player. player. Mincy, you got a mic now? Yeah. Shut up. Okay. I'm going to take the under. I'm going to take under 42. I don't mm. like it. I don't like it, but I'm going. Here's my reasoning. Both teams played to the over last week. Packers defense looked really bad against the Giants, especially that last drive. They got to fix some stuff, maybe get back to running the ball so Jordan Love has more success. Box getting a little healthy on the defensive side. I'm taking the under. I'm taking the under. All right. Jordan Love played like garbage. Garbage. Yeah, well. garbage. I mean, there were people open, right? Yep. He yep. just blatantly missed them. Yep. Garbage. When he's out of sync, he looks like garbage. Yeah. Okay. When we come back, more Barstool Sports Advisors. We've got two more games, great mm. games, and our mortal locks. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Goodbye. Let's go. We're going to call this game like fans, like true fans watching the game. And that one is straight through. What a kick. We're tied at 24. So we have everything. Frank the Tank flipping the coin. Jersey Jerry grabbing teeth. Oh. Oh. We have Caleb and Roan on the sideline. You're looking Roan. Bowl season, baby. There's nothing better. It's caught. Tyler Foster wins the Arizona Bowl. You just witnessed it, folks. What a game. Ready to roll, ready to roll, ready to roll. The biggest week of the year is here. We got a hundred thousand all in max best bet, a fifty thousand all in max best bet with your double your net worth game of the year. Plus, listen to what I have on StuFinder.com, StuFinder.com, StuFinder.com. College balls are here. We're bowling. We're bowling. We're bowling, baby. Three college football best bets. On Saturday, $69, favorite number, favorite position. Then on Sunday, we go over to the NFL. Three best bets, $69, favorite number, favorite position. So responsibly, always betting responsibly. Only bet what you can lose. For all you $50,000 and $100,000 bettors out there, I have the 100 diamond and 50 diamond for everyone else. Three college best bets Saturday, all college bowl games. Three NFL best bets Sunday, only NFL. $69 Saturday, $69 Sunday, $69 Saturday, $69 Sunday. StuFiner.com, StuFiner.com, StuFiner.com.
Partial Sports Advisors, we are back. It's brought to you by our friends, The Late Slate, presented by Stacker 2. Loud, aggressive, and straight out of the Attitude Era. Stacker 2 is an OG in the energy and supplement space. Stacker 2 Chew gummies have more caffeine than other energy gummies while being small in size and price. Stacker 2 Chew gummies and energy shots are designed to give you maximum energy while still lasting amazing. Stacker 2 is teaming up with us, Barstool, for a chance to come to the Chicago office, meet the team, sit on a recording of this show, and go home with some Barstool merch. To enter, simply go to stacker2.com slash Barstool, make a purchase online, take a screenshot of your receipt and tweet us the photo with the hashtag Bite back for a chance to win. Again, that's a trip here. Watch this show. Hang out with the guys. All you got to do is take a screenshot of your stack or two and use the hashtag bite back. We want to see someone here with some energy. We want to bring some energy to the studio. Yeah! Okay. Big, big game. Wow, this is such a monster game. Big, big game. Cowboys at Bills. Bills minus one and a half. Over under is 51 the Bills are trying to run the table. The AFC East is now open for them. Wide open. Insane. They could potentially, if the Bills win out and the Dolphins drop, or drop one more game, Week 18 would be for the AFC East. Amazing. It's crazy. Amazing. $25,000 fantasy league I'm in. Two hundred grand up for grabs in the playoffs. I needed... Tyreek Hill to outscore the Dolphins' defense, and I lost. Oh, because they got a pick six. Pick six. six fumbles. Fumble, and Tyreek got hurt a little bit. What are the odds of that happening? Oh. That's I, needed, I, needed one one more, I needed one more catch for 17 yards. I'd be in the playoffs, and it's minimum like 50 grand. That's oh, unbelievable. Bad. Josh Allen didn't help either by having no points in the second half. That's after. bad. Mm. Okay, this game. I want to hear the weather first because I got something I really like in this game, but I got to hear the weather. Okay. Well, Buffalo has some light rain coming their way, and it's going to be 48 degrees. Oh, it's it beautiful. 50 degrees in Buffalo. I love it. Everywhere. Global warming. Yeah, yeah. Global warming. I, I mean, yeah. it must be. Hasn't snowed in New York, and this is going on the third year. Yeah, crazy. Crazy, Tommy. Teams with as good of a record as the Cowboys have this late in the season as underdogs are usually underdogs for a reason, only cover 37% of the mm. Love that stat. This does feel, I know the Bills came off a big win with the Chiefs, but Cowboys did too. Cowboys came off even a bigger win against the Eagles, Sunday Night Football. Now they got to go to Buffalo. I got two picks for this game. I'm taking the Bills. I'm taking the over. Wow. Bills and over. Love, oh. love, love Buffalo here. Uh, I think the weather... Helps the Cowboys if this was a little snow, a little colder. But, yeah, Bills get right here. Cowboys, I, I, they're good. And, I, again, I was so impressed with Parsons because Lane Johnson is, like, the week before he played Boza. Yeah. And he demolished Boza. Yeah. Um, I love Buffalo. I think they win this game. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Stu. Tom, you ready? Yep. That kid's amazing. That was unbelievable. <sighs> Thank you. One more. Let's see if you can do four, Pete. Un- that, was cr- that was tremendous. Um, Dallas Cowboys are going to smoke the Buffalo Bills and put them out of their misery. <laughs> Bills are a fraud. Yeah, know, They're that done. Wasn't, that wasn't They're dead. At all. Cowboys right now are the best team in the NFL. I would say even above the 49ers because I cannot believe what I'm watching. Their defense is playing unbelievable. They're able to run the ball. Dak Prescott right now is the MVP of the I NFL. I want to trust Dak Prescott. No, but I'm saying you can trust him. Bread. This, no, you well, this is the game that proves what he is. They go into Buffalo, which is a total fraud, and get blown the fuck out. The Cowboys come with smoke. They come with fire. They come with America's team. I think Jerry Jones. Uh, I'm. How, about, how would you like my mission? I Columbus, love it. By the way. Love Thank it. you. This love is my Amir Bahadori tie. Were you here when I spoke about that? No. Suck up. Hi, 1994. Um, I lost like, I don't know, like 200,000. this story again. I like um, it. At the MGM. Uh, Wait, you haven't heard about the mirror? No. Amir. So no. anyway, so we're listening. this, this guy's watching my show uh, at the time, Sports Advices. He, he makes ties only for the Sultan of Brunei. Brunei. Sultan of Brunei. And Big Cat. Looked it up and it was true. He's with yeah, Bill yeah, Clinton. Yeah. So this is yeah. like a. How much is I don't think you want to be associated with Bill Clinton these days, though, Stu. Amir. That's yeah, his thing. So yeah. it's a fabulous tie. So anyway, that's my tie story. Um, Wait, no, there was more to that story. No, that was a. I thought you hung out with him and shit. I, I did hang out with him. So and he, he found out I was a Jew you, and he cut me out. <laughs> the guy, the guy, he cut me off completely. 
the guy. He has like thousand to fifteen hundred dollar ties. I asked him for money, and he sent me like four ties. And, he, and then he makes a tie for the Sultan of Gabar. Brunei. Brunei. Sultan of Brunei. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Guy's worth like nine trillion dollars. Yeah, I yeah. believe it. The tie guy? No. Oh. Sultan. Yeah, I don't know what I'm here. Mi- minimum fifty we bill if you're a Sultan. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's got. He's got. They don't just give sultans no, to that's, anyone. That's that's not quite just, the name. No, he yeah. owns oil. But anyway, so that's the time. But I really believe, like, I hate the Dallas Cowboys. I hate Dak Prescott. He's been a fraud his whole life. I bet him in the playoffs every year, and they, I get killed. I believe in that team right now. It's just something different about him, something different about the team. The team is rallying around Dak and playing for Dak so that Dak is not a fraud. He's not a, you know, can't win in the playoffs. And I think he's playing for another big contract, which is, I cannot believe I'm saying this. He might be the best quarterback in the NFL Whoa. right now. He literally might Whoa. be the best quarterback in the NFL. Doesn't See, turn over the ball. Everything you're saying, though, makes me like the Bills even more because that's the storyline. I will the say Cowboys the, get hot, yeah, everyone talks about it. Agreed. The, the Bills' defense may be fraudulent, but I still love them. But they've, done, they've actually they've had moments where they've played tough. I mean, they, they played I mean, tough against the Chiefs. Yeah, they, that, they got a huge, huge turnover. Yeah. And then, obviously... Uh, what's it, Tony Lyon, six yards off sides? Yeah, so, big know. time. Uh, I'm taking. I, I like the over though for this game because of. I mean, <laughs> they, they, I do. I, Stu's right. Dak is playing out of his mind. Uh, all right, night game, Sunday night football. Ravens Jaguars. Jaguars are in trouble. Jaguars have lost two straight. Trevor Lawrence turned ankle. Jaguars plus three at home. Over under is 43. <sighs> Ashley. Okay, so in Jacksonville, it's going to be 66, both wind and rain. Oh. Tommy. Got two strong Lamar Jackson trends here in his career against the spread, 23-13 and 13 on the road and 12-6 and six in primetime games. That, 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 that stat probably mirrors their record. I don't think they're true, but I was gonna pick Ravens anyway. So whatever he said, if it was pro Ravens, I'd be like, good. They're stats, like Tommy they're Ravens. like a twelve and sixteen as long. He's as a lot better on the on the road against the spread than at home. What was his stat again? Twenty three and thirteen against the spread on the road in his career. Twelve and six. That's probably. pretty good. Yeah. I, I, I great road record. I will not acknowledge the Ravens until they hoist the Lombardi Trophy. I am not a Lamar. I don't care what they yeah, do. They, the what if they season. get to the Super Bowl? Depends. You're not going to acknowledge them in the Super Bowl? It, it, it depends their road. Okay. No, I won't say they're a good team. Uh, if they get to the Super Bowl? Depends their road. Like, I think Who the they have to is beat? weak. If they beat the Chiefs? They beat a healthy Chiefs. Right now, the Chiefs, like, are, are a paper tiger. The Chiefs, though, would you not agree? I made this analogy the other day. The Chiefs, it does feel like they're in uh, the second generation of the Patriots the yeah. dynasty where they'll have a blip every year and everyone will bury them. Totally. And then, Late January, and, like, and oh, their, the Chiefs are in the and their blip isn't real blips in the sense of I know their wide receivers have sucked, but when you throw a ball to a professional receiver, I still expect them to catch it, Correct. not drop it. Um, anyways, I'm going to take the Jags here. Actually, you could probably figure that out based on how I was saying what I think of the Ravens. Yeah, I have the Ravens. Stu, it's a great game Sunday night. Um, I'm looking forward to watching it. I'm more importantly looking forward to the constituents and our fans to pay me and pay me and pay me at StuFinder.com. Uh, we're going to have a couple of Barstool specials this week. Uh, college on Saturday, the College Bowl start. We're going to go three best bets, favorite number, favorite position, $69. Then on Sunday, we're going to go three best bets, $69, favorite number, favorite position. And um, my record is nothing to brag about. 13 wins, 11 losses, three ties. If I caught all three ties, it would be 16 and 11. Out of these 11 Whoa. losses, I <laughs> yeah, lost dude. seven by one point. So if all the losses were I wins, could be 19 be- and two. But I'm not. I'm 13, 11, and 3. But pay me because I'm the source. I invented this industry. StuFinder.com, StuFinder.com, StuFinder.com. That was, that was, I like that. That was incredible record keeping. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It was 11 losses, yeah. wins. I'm 24, I tried to make 13, 0, 11, and 3 as good as possible. I used the smoke. I used the mirrors. I used the charm. And I talked quick. Got it. Okay. Yeah. You know. Fair enough. Smart. Uh, okay. When we come back, our mortal locks. Mortal lock time. I'm 1-0 in my last one mortal locks. That tells you how good my mortal locks have been this year. We're back right after this. Barstool Sports Advisors. Here we go. Christmas right around the corner. New Year's right around the corner. We've got the biggest wave. 
for you to celebrate being alive. Celebrate your friends. Celebrate your family. Celebrate your loved ones. Celebrate someone that's done fabulous gambling. How about someone that's down in their lock, can't get a winner? Losers, losers. How about someone that just lost a girlfriend, lost a boyfriend, lost a husband, lost a wife? I have it covered. How about a bachelor party? How about someone's gonna get married and we got a bachelor party? Well, let's it! Here we go! Be like Stu.com. I'll do a shout out. The best shout out you ever saw in your life. I'm it number one in the home. world on doing shout outs. Number one. Number one. You know why? I read a script that you give me or I read a script that I create. Either way, I'm amazing. Get over to BeLikeStu.com. 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 Barstool Sports Advisors, we are back. It is Mortal Lock time. Mortal Lock presented by Blue Chew. Have better sex with Blue Chew. Blue Chew is currently the only place to go for chewable versions of Sildenafil and Tadelafil. Don't splash the pot. These ingredients help men achieve stronger, harder, and longer lasting erections for sexual activity. Blue Chew helps combat all forms of ED, which also includes performance anxiety and also maintaining an erection long enough for sex. The chewable tablets have the same active ingredients you'd find in Viagra and Cialis, but in chewable form and at a fraction of the cost. Blue Chew is all about having confidence when it comes time to perform and having happy and healthy relationships. A Blue Chew subscription includes a free online consultation, 24-7 medical support, a prescription if approved, and discreet delivery straight to your door every month. Chew it and do it. Blue Chew is a prescription-only medication used for treatment of ED. Use code ADVISORS for your first month free. Okay, boys, mortal lock time. Mm. Stuart, would you like to start? Yes, sir. It's an honor. Um, seven wins, six losses, and one tie on my mortal locks. Not really anything to brag about. Um, coming with chalk this week, um, I don't think the Dolphins can play any worse. I think they're... Yeah. Season's on the line, and uh, the Jets are coming some from f some fire. Their defense is going to play well. Uh, Zach Wilson at least had the best game of his career besides maybe beating Philadelphia. Uh, I'm going to lay the number here. It's a big number. Uh, all the money's on the Jets. How can you not take the Jets plus 8.5, plus more than a touchdown? Uh, I think the Dolphins smack them, smack them often, smack them in the first quarter, second quarter, third quarter. I'm laying this number. Double-digit victory for the Miami Dolphins. Shout-out, Tank. Shout out Frank the Tank. Please don't have a heart attack. Sandy was worried about you. That was an unnerving stream. I mean, he was losing his mind. It was mind. an unnerving game. It yeah. was, but he was losing his mind. That, I mean, I, I mean, it that was, dope that Mickey was real. Smokes, the dope Mickey Smokes jinxed him. Oh, did he really? Yeah. He said, when they were up 14, he sent out a tweet saying 10 and 3, number one, uh, number one seed. In don't the tell me that. He did. Swear to God. I actually, you know. Don't say that. <laughs> I thought he, how the fuck can he do that? It is. It's you know as if I, he didn't watch football his whole you fucking know what life. I, did. I had 50 grand Dolphins minus 14 and a half, the se uh, 13 and a half. The second they took the lead, cashed out. I didn't have a good feeling. Nothing oh, makes you feel better. The than best. A, well a done. That was like a monster win. Yeah, yeah. Very sharp. That's why I, you have a big break. Well, I, 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 instead of losing the 55, I won 19. Okay. But still. Nikki, yes. act like a fucking professional, you douchebag child. You know better, scumbag. What the fuck is the matter with you? It's well facts. said. Well Nick, said. Very well it's said. on your head. Well very well said. said. Very well said. Uh, Jesus. Dave, you're mortal lock. Yeah, I hate this game so much that I went man the suit. It's rare that I have a game that disgusts me on this level. The Bengals minus three at home against... The Vikings, Ooh. the Bengals are playing good football. Ooh. Browning, first of all, let's. I, I like Joe Burrow. People are acting like he's uh, Mother Teresa giving his suite to the Browns. Oh, it was a nice classy move. Like, like, classy he's move. not playing. No, it was a classy was move. He bringing his family to the suite. classy move. Um, the Bengals should kill this team. The Vikings look like trash. They were in the 3 0 game. 3 0. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're, I'm taking the Vikings. Plus three, because there's no way in the world at Cincinnati. Cincinnati is playing good football. Yeah. Vikings. This line stinks to me. Ooh, I kind of like that. Man, man in the suit. I kind of like that. Cincinnati. Man is, man, and all of a sudden you just Matt, man in the suit. Man in the suit. Day Whoa. one stuff. Day one advisor that. stuff. It's a pick Whoa. show, kids and gentlemen. Picks, not sticks. Take the Vikings. Okay. I have a pick. I don't like it. I love it. I'm laying the points. I'm taking the Rams minus six and a half at home against the Washington Commanders. I know the Super Commanders. Bowl. Super Bowl. Super Rams Bowl. Super Bowl future. 
The Commanders are coming off a bye. I do not care. The Commanders can't guard anyone. It is... I don't know if I've ever heard that in football terms. Can't guard anyone? <laughs> yeah, that's like basketball. Can't guard anyone. They traded their both ends. They can't guard anyone. They can't put pressure on the have, quarterback. Have you ever used that for football? I don't think I have, but it can't makes guard. sense. That is, if you say this team can't guard the other. It's basketball. 100%. Without a doubt. But they still can't guard anyone. Can't guard. You're never right. Heard that. Never heard it. They can't like guard it. Never heard it. It's they the first got for everything. It's the first for everything. Yeah. Can't, can't guard, guard anyone. Can't that was guard like, uh, that was a... Uh, what was it, Ted Cruz when he's like a shoot it to the basketball goal? Yeah, well, that's yeah, politicians. Yeah, yeah. Sammy Sousa. <laughs> yeah, this is, listen, they can't guard anyone. Outside, inside, whatever you want to do. Sean McVay, Jack Del Rio gets fired. Now Ron Rivera's doing the defense. He doesn't, he's fired. He doesn't want to be there. Sean McVay versus Ron Rivera, that's easy. Minus six and a half. Rams. I'm wanting to know my last one, Mortal Locks. Mm, I like it. Undefeated. I had a horrific joke last week that I said on the show. Did you watch last week's show? No. Okay, good. I'm going to hit you with it then. Um, why did the Invisible Man not take the job? Why did the Invisible Man not take the job? I don't know. Because he couldn't see himself doing it. Yeah. All right, we'll see you next week, Barcelona Sports Advisor. Second time Thanks it so bombed! Much, Dave. Like my record! Why did you think that was going to hit? It's like a. I, I just think it's a cute joke. What the ocean say to the shore? What? Nothing. It just waved. Exactly. Yeah. I like weird. I like clean humor. Anybody could use motherfuck this, fuck that. Why the mother- belt? Why the belt? Wait, what? Rest. That's you. Still. Wait, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Did you just say the words? I like clean humor. Anyone can say motherfuck this, motherfuck that. Absolutely. <laughs> you. Yes. Stu Finer. Yes. Lick ass. Eat clit. I was class father, kindergarten through seventh grade. Every kid I had, I was squeaky clean. I never made a mistake. Well, no shit. Now fucking... I'm out of my shell. I don't believe I that. Led a a, I led a sheltered life. Now I'm out of my shell. I don't believe you've ever been clean, ever. Ever. True. And, and, Remember when and promised just, dead serious like, to go clean on this show? I, yeah. I, yeah. I have to, it lasted oh, like two minutes. I am such a fucking pervert because after I know we're at the table. La- I know Tell you me something me. I don't know. Exactly. But after the table oh, last night pervert? that they no said shit. Michelle Obama sat at the table and oddly enough you the same the seat. seat. Did it smell like dick? No, it smelled like ass. <laughs> it smelled, it smelled like my ass. Listen, she has a dick. I'm sucking it. I love Michelle Obama. I'm on fucking record. All right. Now. See everyone next week. I don't know if this is a show. <laughs>